Okay. <clears throat> You're bending leaf. And you'll probably, uh, you know, uh, I could not find the metal readily available, so I made do with what I had to do. Also, your bending leaf links here, they're 3 eighths by 1 and a half inch flat. The metal company did not have that either. So, we took 3 eighths by 2 inch flat. And we, we cut up a half inch to make these links here. So those are some of the things, if you cannot get the metal, you know, that's how you can make do and, and uh, make, it, make it still happen. Yes, yeah, it's a good, uh, good bending clamp here, and uh, we like it. And we're going to uh, take it back apart and uh, clean it up. And uh, we're going to powder coat uh, some of the parts. We do we do do powder coating, and uh, we've got this zombie green to work with, and the Dylan blue to work with, and. Uh, we use that to mainly powder coat our bullets with. But uh, we're going to trick this all out. I need to have some more uh, adjustments made to it. I cannot, uh, I, I cannot get it to do a, uh, a full 135 degree bend yet. So and I, I need to grind down the clamp leaf some more to where I can get that. That way you'll have an overbend or you can do a uh, S slip to bring two pieces of metal together or the Pittsburgh uh, bend for doing duct work. But you gotta be able to uh, bring it back 135 degrees in order to make those and it'll be an over bend and you'll raise your clamp up slip it in there push your clamp down toggle it over and make your bend and then it will be flat so that's what we're going to do this has been cut out with uh, mostly hacksaws and there's a lot of holes to drill, a lot of holes to tap. You really got to stay focused and uh, you know I messed up a lot on this I'll, I'll, and uh, you will too and we're going to get back with you. Uh, the best tool we found to cut this metal or to shape it, we, uh, we now have a grinder. I mean, we can cut the stuff off. We got a little cut off wheels here. That's a step up. But uh, most of the stuff we do is uh, with just a minimum of uh, hand tools. Just to show you what you can do. But I just hate buying tools. I'd rather make a tool. I make a lot of them. And you've seen a lot of tools that we've made for the foundry. and So, anyway, next time you see this, we'll have it pretty much tricked out. You know, we're going to, we're experimenting with uh, bluing. And where you take uh, sodium hydroxide, you know, which is lye. And uh, sodium, uh, sodium, <coughs> uh, well, it's like saltpeter, but it's potassium. got sodium in it, not potassium. Sodium nitrate. And uh, we're going to blue this. And the other parts that we can take off, we're going to powder coat. So, 
We got still got some work to do on it, but we can build bend metal now. And uh, I like this. So just number seven, the David Singery's uh, series of books. I got these 35 years ago when I used to spend uh, three nights a week in motel rooms and this is the kind of smut I used to read. So now I'm doing it. Thank you for watching. We'll get back with you on another project.